Understanding the intended meaning is the key here. What's highly potent in the relaxing effect is not the plant itself, but this substance. In answer choice A, you see because of this comma which construction, this highly potent bit is referring to the plant and not the substance. So answer choice A should be eliminated. In answer choice B, this newly found bit is referring to the leaves and not to the substance and therefore this also fails to convey the intended meaning. Answer choice B should be eliminated. Look at choice C. In this case you see this derived bit is referring to the substance and the highly potent in relaxing bit is also referring to the substance only. So answer choice C has great merit. This should stay. Answer choice D has a similar mistake to what we saw in choices A and B. This new found bit is referring to the plant and not the substance. So answer choice D also fails to convey the intended meaning. Look at choice E now. Here this error has been rectified but then there is a bigger error here. It sounds like muscles derived from the leaves of the coral berry plant which doesn't make sense. So answer choice E should also be eliminated. Let's confirm choice C now. A new found substance. Substance derived from the leaves of the coral berry plant and highly potent. So this highly potent bit is also referring to the substance only. So the stuff between the two commas here is referring to two qualities of the substance. One that it is derived from such and such leaves and two that it is highly potent in the relaxing effect. And then the core meaning is what you get when you remove the stuff between the two commas. The core meaning a new found substance could offer new hope to asthmatics. Makes complete sense. C is the correct answer choice.